about logging into Juno, where many of the tests and quizzes that we do in class will be available for you. So you open up a new tab, or you're using the app on the iPads, which is even easier, and you want to go to JunoEd dot com backslash login you'll see this page here so I'm gonna go ahead and type in my username remember that your username is the same name as you use on Jupiter grades so here I go I've created a, an imaginary student named Phil Anderson for those of you who are into bicycle racing he was the great Australian cyclist uh, of the late 1980s I type in Phil Anderson I then type in his password and I click login and here we go. Phil Anderson's page is open. It says that the instructor has not given any tests or assignments. Check again later. So usually I'll have everybody log in in class and once people are all logged in then I'll activate a test or a quiz and you'll see it show up right up here in this area with a red dot next to it. So you click then, uh, you'll have to click recheck and so I click recheck and still there's nothing available because I haven't activated it. But when I do There'll be a title with a red dot next to it. Click on the title, go ahead and take the quiz and complete it. And when you're done, click on done or turn it in now. And then it'll show you exactly how you've done on the quiz. You can also click this box here, show completed work, to see everything that you have done uh, on Juno for my classes. This is useful in the future if you log into Juno from home in advance of a major test to review all the quizzes that we had to help you study for the test. So use Juno not only for taking tests and quizzes in my class but as a reference tool to look back and review information and really make sure that you know it for the test. Cheers!